Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks. And I did the video the other day of um, Mickey and Minnie in the Navy theme. And um, now I'm doing the banner. I said I was all done with that order, but I totally forgot about the happy birthday banner. It's happy birthday, Levi. Uh, what I did, and this is going to be something that I'm going to be doing on my... Uh, recording, screen recorder to make a file on how to do some of the, the things that I did on this banner that I'm going to explain to you now. I shouldn't have started taping first. Um, by the way, good response. Uh, folks that would like to volunteer to see if they can run my program on a PC and I appreciate that. I'm going to pick, I think I'm probably going to pick more than one. I'm probably going to do about five so I can get feedback, uh, five to ten, so I can get a really good feedback on how to, how I could improve, if it was good, if it wasn't, if it was, if you could upload it and all of that. It's not going to be seeing me. It's going to be screen recordings, not recordings of me. Down the line, when I'm doing projects, I may, when I'm showing you how to put together some things that you have to do like a puzzle. Um, this banner, what I did is I have the black Mickey uh, head. And then what I did on this one is I did an offset twice. When I did the offset twice, I removed the first one because I wanted it uh, larger there's a there's a reason reason for my madness, but that is something that I will show um, on a screen video of the software. Then I did an internal offset and did my print of navy uh, wheels. Their their the nautical wheels there that I have a print. Um, but I did an offset. The reason I did the internal offset is because I don't want to print this whole head because it's a waste of ink because all I want is the outline printed. This is a way I do it a lot of times when I'm going to use layers and especially on banners because I like layers on banners because I like them thicker. So I do the offset like that and then do the internal offset so that I can um, color just that part. What you do have to, to do is, again, I will show that on one of my instructionals, is you, you do have to um, make them a... I'm trying to think how I did it now. I'm not sitting in front of it, so I can't remember how I did it. To color it in... Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't remember how. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying, and I don't remember what I did. There was something I can't remember if it was that I had to make it a compound path. No, if I did a compound path, it would just be the outline. That's not how I wanted it. I think I just went in and colored. After I made the internal offset, I clicked off of the internal offset. Then I clicked on the background, and then I went and colored that in, and then the internal offset piece I, I clicked on and turned that white. Because actually, internal offset, if you separate them, they're two separate pieces. Again, it's really hard to explain, but I will show, show you on a screen video how I did it. And these Mickey heads are five and a quarter inches and they'll be five and a half inches with the background and again this is all in the the navy or um, theme grab another one I used my 11 by 7 paper that I get from Amazon part number four zero four one four eleven by seventeen I'm um, I was posting on my about, on all my videos, my 
everything that I use and then all of a sudden for some reason it got deleted in the in where I kept it to copy and paste and rather than go back to one of my old videos and find it and copy and paste it again I've done nothing done nothing just haven't simply you guys I was talking about on my video last night I had all these big huge plans for this week that my daughter was going with the kids that I was going to get all this stuff done and I feel like I've gotten nothing done they did finish my patio today so I am happy about that but my husband's out of town so I had to go and water flowers and my son and daughter-in-law wanted me over for dinner so I had to go over there for dinner my other daughter wanted to go swimming with the kids and wanted me to hang out with her so I did stuff with her this has been all week long, all week. So uh, I, I guess I should be thrilled to death that any one of them even wants to hang out with me. You know, that in itself is awesome. But um, <laughs> there are times I don't want to hang out with them. I just want to hang out by myself. But... I didn't. I, and what they do is they know that I'm not going to tell my grandkids no. So my granddaughter, or my, my one daughter has my granddaughter, Charlie, call me in her high squeaky little voice. She's four. And she gets on the phone and asks me. She says tonight, Nama, I made you a card. Um, and she starts explaining the card to me, and I said, oh, honey, that's so awesome. I'm so excited. And I said, I'll get it for, from you tomorrow when you come over for Wyatt's birthday party. And she said, no, how about you go with us to, to um, what's it called, Costco. We're going to Costco right now. How about we swing by and pick you up? She's four. And you go with us to Costco. And I'm like, okay, put your mother on. So my daughter gets on the phone. I said, why do you do that? Why do you put her on the phone to ask me that? Because I will never tell her no. She's so sweet. Yeah, Mom, why don't you go to Costco with us? So guess where I went? I went to Costco. Then when I got home, I had to go to my son's because my son wanted me over for dinner. And I couldn't call him and tell them no because they were counting on me to go over. They were having a cookout with a bunch of friends, and they wanted me there. Um... And I know, since they had friends over, it wasn't like I was the life of the party. But uh, I ended up going over there. And then when I got home, I had to water all the flowers. And my daughter was over yesterday with all of her daycare kids. And they were riding the four-wheelers. But the daycare kids, when the battery goes dead, they don't know how to swap it out. My grandkids all know when they need a battery change, there's backup batteries all hooked up. My husband has it all set up with all the backup batteries all on these these um, power strips and all set up so it's it's kind of like a, a pit. What do they call it? The pit in a car races and you stop your car and you go in the pit and they change everything out. Well, they do a battery change. Well, the grand, the daycare kids don't know how to do the battery change. So all the batteries were dead. And when they came to do the landscaping, they couldn't get the five four-wheelers out of the way because all the batteries were dead, or I hadn't gotten them out of the way. The guy that came was strong enough that he was able to get the cars out of the way. But when I got home from my son's, I had to go out and change all the batteries so that I could have the backup batteries charged for tomorrow's party. Guys, doesn't it sound like I have just way too much on my plate and things of such great importance? I should just tell my kids, you know, you guys come over here and change the freaking batteries. But, nope. Nama went out and changed all the batteries and put all the, burnt, the dead batteries on the chargers so that tomorrow they had eight hours worth of charge. They'll probably be in the pool now all day tomorrow. Man, these are cute. I'm loving them. Oh, and I'm pop dotting the letter. And I never finished telling you what I was doing on these. Whoa! Sorry. Sorry. I forgot to tell you what I was doing. Um, I need a Y. I need a Y. Here's a Y. Okay. 
here's the main hat that I worked on. I wanted everything. The reason I did the offset is because if I just made it bigger, like pulled it bigger, it's not always an exact fit. If I use the offset, isn't it? It's an exact fit because it all shrinks it or makes it bigger at the same um, at the same distance all the way around. So I did another internal offset on the black and did a white Mickey head. Then I did blue faux stitching around this head. Then using the Walter font, I wrote out the happy birthday. Again, that's Walter font that I had gotten at dafont.com. And again, the faux stitching, and that's how I made the letter. And then I had gone in to a Mickey head that I found on Google and a mini, and I cut the hats off of them because I didn't have... Yeah, I didn't have the hats I wanted because this one's got a little Mickey head in the middle of it. And this is the famous Mickey or mini polka dot hat. Uh, I did notice too when I was watching a video of mine the other day. Uh, I, I can't remember what it was that I said. And you guys must catch those mistakes all the time and just laugh. Because I say something and I say it's so wrong. But I don't catch it because I don't watch my videos. So I am so sorry and I apologize ahead of time. I am really not dumb. I am just trying to do too many things at the same time. Anyway, um, that is how I did them. So I layered the black on top of this white that had the, the offset done, which would have been at, um, which would make more sense. Rather than me hitting offset twice, I could just hit and change it instead of point. I think it's at 125 is the default. It is 125. I could have just put it at 0.3 or 0 0.2 and a half. 0.2. Yeah, 0 0.2 and a half. Uh, and that would have been the same thing. However, the reason I do it the way I do it is it's easy. And I don't care. I like easy. So, um, there we have. The black is taped down. The offset with the, the steering wheels on them. And the mini that's the internal offset and all I did was eyeball this because I, I I just wanted to put the letter on it that was it I got happy done I'm not gonna make all of you watch me do all of these however I'm gonna tell you give you a little bit of an update here um, I said on my last uh, one of my last videos that Kendall and mommy and daddy that they're all in um, Alabama at Gulf Shores and Kendall was in the hospital Wednesday night with fever. Will had been in the emergency room because they all got sick. All the kids got sick. Well, Kendall ended up in the hospital um, running tests, but she was, I guess what happened was is they called her doctor at the UW Children's Hospital here in Madison to find out what he wanted them to do and he found a hospital that was in the area to take her in, but her doctor was talking to the doctor there to tell him what he wanted them to do because it was not a cancer um, clinic. It was a just a regular hospital. And they ran the test, and then they sent the results to her doctor, and he gave him instructions and, and sent her on her way, sent her back, and said everything should be fine because her A and C, which is her immune system, was really high, so her body was fighting off the infection. Uh, Guys, I knew it. I'm sitting here telling this this long, long story, and all of a sudden, I realized my camera had probably shut off. It timed out, and it had. So I don't know how far I got. In a nutshell. Uh, Kendall ended up in the hospital. If I missed that, if I if you didn't hear that part, she had gone to the hospital the other night. They sent her back. She got a fever of 105.6. They ended up admitting her at the children's hospital. They had to go even further away than where they were already at. And anyway, long and short, um, they got her fever under control and ruled out any blood blood um, disease.